Good morning. What can I talk about this morning? Since it's my day off and uh, I gotta release this video sometime. Now, I've heard of something that's very interesting about immigration. Now, as I saw in the uh, some Business Week magazine article, I didn't read it yet, but uh, I'm gonna try to give you my words on it. I just read something about it. There are more African immigrants trying to get to Europe, especially from countries in North Africa and some Western African states too. Now, Europe, I don't know why they're taking many Im immigrants. I mean, their economies, most European countries, their economies are pretty bad. I mean, look at Spain, for instance. They are going through they're going through bankruptcy right now and along with Greece and all the southern European states they're in a crisis right now I don't know why many immigrants want to go to Europe I mean Europe is a nice place don't get me wrong I mean I spent some time in I spent some time in Germany on my way to Africa to visit family but uh, why would anybody want to go to Europe I'll visit Europe again, definitely, for sure. But I'm not going to live there. I mean, who wants to live in Europe when all these Europeans, they want to go to North America, especially the United States? I mean, maybe the Africans think it's closer and uh, they think there's opportunities there. But there are not many opportunities in Europe. And plus, they have to deal with the racism that's uh, there, that's in Europe, that takes place in Europe. Everybody says racism and white supremacy comes from the United States, but it all originated, all this, this uh, ideology originated in Europe first, particularly in the UK, Britain, Great Britain. That's where racism originated from, Great Britain. White supremacy originated from Britain too, but uh, the Americans, the U.S., took it to the next level using violence and hate groups that are planted there. So I mean, it's Europe. There's racism there, but it's more covert, similar to Canada. It's more covert here than it is in the United States. But although the U.S. is catching up with covert actions, but not as much as it is here and in, and in Europe. I lived here in Canada for so long, and the, the racism here is covert. I mean, sure you get the piece of the pie, economic pie, but um, most times you don't get to the very top. And that's where the real racism takes place, at the top of the uh, economic uh, food chain. I mean, sure you get, sure you get money, but uh, any sort of status or upward mobility, you don't get that in Europe and in Canada. So oftentimes, most of the people at the top are white. It's like any other whitewashed country that I see. Brazil's included; they're whitewashed too. Canada's whitewashed as well along with Europe, especially in the UK. So I don't know why these Europeans want to, uh, or these Africans want to immigrate to Europe, but it is what it is and that's their prerogative. Adios for now.